Yo everybody, it's Lewandowski, Zach Lewandowski, and welcome to a story time video. Now guys, this is actually the first one I'm actually going to be putting on my channel. Now I hopefully, hopefully think that this will actually help me out a little bit differently. So, so hope you guys actually do attend to enjoy this story. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like, also comment down below if you guys want to see more of these videos. Now this is going to be a story about the time I, well the time I got raped and uh, I think this story will actually um, fill the scenery of what's going on so I guess I probably should start um, how this started so it was the beginning of the year of um, kindergarten which was the first day of my own school that I actually go on to um, it was a good day um, I met my uncles um, I don't want to mention their name but um, I'll just call them Uncle K and Uncle J um, Uncle K was a little bit suspicious, if I want to say it, because to be honest with you, I didn't actually think anything was going on, but the first really? night I literally slept there was literally something I didn't expect to happen. So I went to the shower and everything like that, and I just wanted to freshen up, um, because my grandma told me to, um... I just got undressed, went to the bathroom, and basically just went into the tub, and um, yeah, just basically started started just um, washing myself. Then my uncle comes in, full blown naked. I see see his thing right next right into my face. I don't know why. Next thing you know. I was ending up sucking on it, which was something I did not expect to do. Listen, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I got forced into this like at least about a few times. Well, actually, no. Throughout the entire year, I've been doing this probably since my graduation of first grade. But anyway, as this happened to me, I didn't actually quite know what was going on. And this happened the second time then he start he started touching me in places that I sh shouldn't be touched now that is just weird most importantly on that um not only that that his thing was sucked i couldn't help on the fact that i didn't know what i was doing at the time so i was really wasn't sure if that was an option but in any case yeah that definitely happened and I didn't know what to do beyond this point. All I could think about was the fact that um, during my age, I didn't know about rape or anything like that. Like, I only knew about maturity and politeness and positivity. I never knew about all this stuff, like, until I ended up in maybe, like, four, no, th fourth or fifth grade. I think it was fifth grade that I started saying it. So fifth grade apparently was where I actually started um, seeing the fact that I actually got raped because my friends actually told me and I didn't actually know um, what rape, how um, rape was actually was. And I didn't know how exactly it would have went. But when I mentioned it, I didn't actually think that through because I was an idiot back then. Trust me, I was an idiot. And I didn't know what to do beyond this point. So, please understand that I am not doing so good when it comes to, like, doing good things for, like, any causes or making mistakes. Because that is something that is my fault and my responsibility. So, I'm very sorry for the lack of video uploads, the lack of Twitter, um, the lack of Instagram, every single social media, including my Twitter, my Instagram, my YouTube, every single thing. I'm so sorry because of my dumb self and my lazy self. I am not coming back to upload and that is my fault. I'm very sorry. Anyway, let's get on to the next topic, which is something that I think will basically stand off on that. Um, after that, my uncle was basically in Pittsburgh at that time and he got arrested there. And now he's in jail 
I literally want to feel to punch him in the face because of what he did, but I'm gonna calm down and I'm gonna let him rot in jail as much. I don't want him actually getting killed there, actually. Just rot in jail, not actually get killed. But anyway, after that, we didn't go to court or anything like that because I didn't want to mention it in court, in session and all that stuff because I was scared. And most importantly, I didn't know what to do with beyond this point. And at first, they didn't put him in jail. I think they, at first, K was actually put in a um, list of not touching children so he was actually in a good place and i wasn't the only person who's involved i'm not going to say this i'm not going to say her name but my sister was also involved as well i'm not going to say her name but my sister was involved so she was involved in the situation with me um because she was raped too because um my uncle basically he raped her before she he raped me so it was kind of a mishap on that one and it turns out he was actually bisexual so and most importantly a criminal but anyway let's uh let's get back to the thing that i'm trying to say all i'm going to say is my word of advice guys keep yourself in a good place do not allow anybody to be around you especially your uncle well not really um if they're smart and they know what they're actually knowing what they're doing then there's no reason to actually like avoid them but if they're doing weird things around you my word of advice is just to run very much but anyways hope you enjoyed the video guys and um yeah that's all for this time my name's zach i'll catch you guys later goodbye